guys, welcome back. My name is Nathan, and today I'm going to be discussing five different NHL teams that need to make a trade at the 2020 trade deadline. Now, the competition at this year's trade deadline is going to be insane. Both in the Western and Eastern Conference, but especially in the East, there are a ton of teams that need that extra trade to get over the hump. But which teams do I think need to make a trade the most to not just make the playoffs, but to succeed? And which teams do I see being the most active at this year's deadline? Watch till the end for all my opinions and picks. And of course, hit that subscribe button if you're new. But starting us out here today with my first team that needs to make a trade at this year's deadline, I have these guys, the Arizona Coyotes. And this is a team that has been one of the most interesting teams in the past couple months. They were like first or second when they ended up getting Taylor Hall from the New Jersey Devils. Since then, they've been okay, but a lot of other teams around the Pacific Division have been better and have been rising above them. Right now, they're just one point in a wild card spot in that second spot, and the Winnipeg Jets are right behind them. This is an Arizona team that has been fine, but they need to be better if they want to make the playoffs. Now, obviously, the Darcy Kemper injury affects this a ton, but the luck has also not been on their side. But in the last 10, they've had a 2-5-3 record. That is not good enough to make the playoffs, especially when you have two months to go in this season. And the trade deadline, of course, is one that I think the Arizona Coyotes should use. I don't think they should trade Taylor Hall unless they go and win the, lose the next five games or something between now and the trade deadline. Unless they do something drastic, I think they should keep Taylor Hall, get another forward, and try to make the playoffs because the offense has not been working and the team has not been working. Now, the problem, the main one at least, has been the offense for Arizona. Before they got Taylor Hall, they weren't putting the puck in the net, and after they got Taylor Hall, the offense somehow got even worse. They've scored less goals per game with Taylor Hall than they did without him, and it hasn't really been because of Taylor Hall, because he's actually been pretty decent, getting 20 points in 24 games. It's more so guys like Nick Schmaltz, Derek Stepan, you got guys like Phil Kessel, who have pretty much gone invisible since then. Yes, Taylor Hall has been good, but it's obviously obvious that this team needs more of a shakeup, especially in the forward group. Now, there's a few players that I would personally target if I was Arizona. Those include players like Tyler Toffoli, Andre Kasha, Craig Smith from the Predators, and maybe even Mike Hoffman from the Panthers. Those are guys that specialize in offense, which is what Arizona needs right now. But I don't exactly pity Arizona whatsoever with the position they're in. Right now, even with Taylor Hall, the rest of the offense has shrunk. Right now, Winnipeg is just one point behind them, and they are almost losing every single game at this point in terrible fashion. Right now, Arizona just needs a shake up at this point. I don't care if it's Connor McDavid. I don't even care if it's a depth player. Right now, Arizona needs something different. And on that forward group, something needs to change. Now going on to my second team that needs to make a trade. And they're kind of in the same situation as the Arizona Coyotes. A little bit different, but still, right now, the Carolina Hurricanes come at number two. And this is a team that is kind of in the same need as Arizona too. In my opinion, although Carolina has been super unlucky this season, and that luck will turn around, I still think they're in need of another sniper who can score goals. They have enough playmakers on that team, but the goal scoring has been an inconsistent problem. Now, Carolina is a plus 24 goal differential, one of the best in the entire league, but still find themselves two points outside the playoffs behind the Philadelphia Flyers and the Columbus Blue Jackets. And this is a Carolina team that, again, I think has been unlucky, but when you lose Dougie Hamilton, a guy that's so important to your team, I think that's a hole that they can't fix, especially on D, but the forward group, I think they can. Now, right now, the forward lines are still pretty solid, but Lucas Walmark is a guy who's been fitting on that second line pretty decently. At the same time, though, I still think Carolina could use an extra jump to really push themselves into the playoffs. We see that with Pittsburgh, that they just got Jason Zucker. They didn't need Jason Zucker, but they still went out and got him to pretty much solidify themselves into a playoff spot. To me, Carolina doesn't have to go out and get a guy like that, but a guy who can play on that second line, I think, is a pretty big need at this point. Now, personally, I still think Carolina can be one of the best teams in the East, but it's just been up to inconsistency and 
and bad luck up to this point. There are three guys, though, I could see them going out on the forward market and trying to explore. Chris Kreider from the New York Rangers, Tyler Toffoli from the LA Kings, and Mike Hoffman from the Panthers. Now, we can pretty much scratch out Mike Hoffman at this point because the Florida Panthers are not going to give a guy like Mike Hoffman to the Carolina Hurricanes, who they're trying to beat out in the wild card race. But Tyler Toffoli and Chris Kreider, even though the Rangers in the same division, I think could definitely help them. I think Tyler Toffoli will be a great fit on that second line and will provide some great speed and some great skill. Though at this point, with the amount of prospects and picks they have, this is the year to go for it. Even though they aren't solidified in a playoff spot, if they can just get that wild card spot, who knows what happens. I mean, they were a team that went to the Eastern Conference Final last year with Peter Morazic as their starter, so weirder things have happened. But now coming in at number three, my third team that needs to make a trade at this trade deadline, I have the Winnipeg Jets. Now the Winnipeg Jets are one of those teams that is in bad need of defense if it wasn't obvious enough. But they're one point out of the playoff spot and again, have a realistic chance of making the playoffs. They don't have the best record in the world, both Arizona, Vegas, and all these other teams like tied in points almost. There is a realistic shot they could get into that wild card spot. They're not going to beat Dallas for that third spot I don't think but they can get into that third spot if they really get on a hot streak but the defense is an obvious problem now, due to Connor Hellebuck having an almost elite season for Winnipeg, the defense hasn't been criticized as much as it should. But again, on paper, it's not good whatsoever. They were actually playing pretty decent defensively compared to what they probably should have earlier in the season. But now it's obvious that the cracks are starting to show on the ice, literally, for Winnipeg. And I think the defense is an obvious need that they need to tackle. Now, personally, I wouldn't tinker too much with that forward group because I think it's been good and they've been scoring goals, so just leave it. The defense defense, on the other hand, needs any change possible at this point because the guys they have icing right now are just not good. A lot of them are AHL players at this point. Three guys that I think would help a ton bring veteran presence and also much needed defensive ability would start with Dylan DeMello of the Ottawa Senators, Martinez from the LA Kings, and Brandon Dillon from the San Jose Sharks. But now getting into my fourth team that needs to make a trade, and this is a team that is maybe less of a need than a team like Carolina or Arizona, but I still think is up there, that being the Philadelphia Flyers. Now the Flyers are kind of in the same kind of situation as Carolina, not obviously the same, but they kind of interact with each other in the same way. Carolina needs some help to overachieve Philadelphia, and Philadelphia needs some help to be able to get that wild card spot and put Carolina away. Right now, for Philadelphia, I think just like Carolina, they would be in bad need of a second line forward. Right now, it's Joel Baraby, Hayes, and Konechny on that second line, which is very, very good. But I think ideally, Philadelphia would have Baraby on the third line. Then you can move a guy like Tyler Pitley down to the fourth. And maybe if you get a guy like Chris Kreider, just throwing that out there, you could have four different lines of very solid scoring ability and very solid intimidation. And for me personally, that's really the only way that Philadelphia can substantially improve in because they've been very good this season, all things considered. Right now, sitting at a 31-19-7 record, good for 69 nice points on the year. They've been good. The deal goaltending has been shaky, but I don't think you get a starter ahead of Carter Hart at this point. He is the guy, and the defense has been straight brilliant. To me, a guy like Mike Kaufman would fit beautifully, a Tyler Toffoli, a Chris Kreider, and the names go on. Right now, I think the price would be worth it for Philly, and adding another top six winger would just improve their Stanley Cup hopes. But now moving on to my number five, my fifth team that I think needs to make a trade at this deadline. And this is a team that's in the completely different situation as all the other four teams, so just forget about that for a second. At number five, I have the Chicago Blackhawks. Right now, Chicago just needs to suck it up and realize that they're not making the playoffs. Sell off everybody. Now, I was obviously over-exaggerating, at least I hope it was obvious, but yes, the Chicago Blackhawks need to sell at this deadline. Right now, they sit last in the Central Division and have had five straight losses. A week ago, I thought they could have been one of the biggest buyers of this deadline, but for Chicago, they just need to wake up, stop, and smell the roses because they need to rebuild. I don't care about this retooling stuff. I don't even care if they want to make the playoffs. This team needs an overhaul. Build around, uh, obviously, in 
the main guys, Dylan Strom, Alex Jabrinkat, Robin Leonard, Adam Boquist, and just go into the future with those guys. But Chicago has wanted to make the playoffs in the past couple of years, and we've all seen how that's worked out. Not good whatsoever. But they have a great chance to make up for that, and in a market that doesn't have that many sellers, they could be one of the main guys. Same thing with the National Predators. I think they have a ton of potential in that market. For a team like Chicago, you could offload Gustafson, Brandon Saad, even, even a guy like Corey Crawford, and get a lot more value back. Now, some of you guys know that Chicago is my least favorite team, so I'm putting my Chicago bias aside here to say that yes, they do need to make the rebuilding mode and try and stop trying to make the playoffs. We've seen how that's worked out for them and it has not gone well. They have so much value on their roster that I think could get a lot back. Just looking at the main three guys I mentioned, Gustin, Saab, Corey Crawford, I think can provide a lot of different value in a lot of different positions and for playoff teams, which Chicago just isn't at this point. Even though I don't like Chicago, I'm saying in love. Go the rebuild route, try your hardest to get Alexi Lafreniere, and call it a day. You'll thank me later. But that'll be it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments down below what you think of this video. Let me know what you think about my picks as well, what you agree and disagree with. And of course, let me know down in the comments which team you think needs to make a trade the most. Share this video with your friends. Get my picks out there and get this video out there, boys. Of course, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Click on this playlist right here to watch all of my trade rumor videos right in one place. My name is Nathan, and I'll see you on the next video or stream. Insert witty joke here. Goodbye.